Welcome to the forces and equilibrium um, video. Uh, normally uh, you guys would uh, conduct this investigation but because of Covid and social distancing that's not going to be possible so um, I'm going to do the investigation and I'm going to share the results uh, with you. Um, so what I'd like you to do is go to book two and page 17 um, and we're going to follow the procedure there. Okay, so um, page 17, procedure step one, ensure that the load cells, that's these two devices here, um, are in position. I've already done that. Um, step two, set the load cells to zero. Now, before I placed our mass in this system, I'd already zeroed these load cells. Um, so that's already done for you. Step three, suspend a one kilogram mass from the system. Um, step four, ensure the string is correctly rooted around these two pulleys here. I've already done that. So we're up to step five and this is where you guys start your work. Okay, step five, calculate the weight force generated by this one kilogram mass. Okay, if you'd like to pause the video now whilst you calculate that value and write it in to the box in step five. Step six, uh, we're going to read the load cells F1 and F2. Um, so if you record these two values, please, F1, I make that to be 9.6 newtons. And being careful to look directly at this dial so I don't get any parallax error. So I'm looking directly um, at the needle over the dial. So that was 9.6 for force one and force two, um, that is 11 newtons. So force one, 9.6 newtons, force two, 11 newtons over the page. Um, we now need to record this system of forces on a piece of graph paper. And as you can see, I've already done that down here. I very carefully uh, marked off in pencil um, following the strings there. Um, and I've gone over the top in pen so that you'll be able to see it. Uh, before you guys do that yourselves, I want you to recreate this space diagram on page 20, the graph paper on page 20 in your books. You need two more pieces of information. And that's what we've got here, these two angles. So if I remove this piece of paper here, I can show you the two angles I've recorded there. And the angle on this side was 21 degrees and the angle on the other side was 37 degrees from the horizontal. Okay, so turning to page 20, I'd like you to first create the space diagram, which is just a sketch, a representation of our system. And once you've done that, we're going to use the information from that to create our vector diagram. And in this case, it's going to be triangle of forces. And that's what you're going to do next. That's the end of the video. 